Hello, darlings, and welcome back to our weekly Wednesday wedding day tips. I'm Michelle. And I'm Brandon, and together we are the husband and wife photography and film team that make up Horn Photography and Design. And just as a little reminder, you can find all of our videos on both our YouTube channel and also on our blog. So let's get right into this week's wedding tip. Oh, you got stars, stars in your eyes. I know it from the way you make me feel so alive. Like I'm up, up, up on a mountainside, gazing at the night sky, but I'm just looking at the stars, the stars in your eyes. So today I wanted to share a few tips about how to bring along your pups on an engagement session or during your wedding, the actual wedding ceremony. So we are both huge animal lovers and every year we have the opportunity to document a ton of engagement sessions and wedding ceremonies that include our couples pups. Over the last 12 years, we have learned several important tips that will help you to have a successful session or wedding day with your fur babies. The first and most important is to make sure that your pup is well exercised an hour to 30 minutes before the session or even an hour to 30 minutes before the actual wedding ceremony. So important. Animals are much calmer and more cooperative once they've had the opportunity to get all that pent up energy out a long walk in the nearby park, playing fetch in the backyard, or even tug of war in your living room, anything really to get that energy out. A lot of our couples will even have a rover come over before the actual wedding ceremony on the wedding day about an hour and give the dog a walk so that way they can actually get again that energy out and their fur baby has all the exercise that they need. Secondly, this is really important too, bring along their favorite treats or their favorite toy. Uh, what we need to do is get your dog's attention so we dangle the treat or their toy over our photo or over our camera so they'll look right at the camera for the photo and then we also are able to get them to sit or lay down with those things another big must-have is bringing along a friend or a family member to take care of your pup while they are not in the photos when pets are in the engagement session we begin the session for the first 20 minutes with them and in the remaining 40 minutes they will need to be with someone that's watching them leaving them in the car is not an option because most cities have ordinances that prohibit leaving pets in the car for a long period of time. And our studio actually can be fined with animal cruelty if animal control is called. Due to this, then if there's no pet watcher then for the engagement session, then we're gonna actually have to reschedule that session. Yes. The last tip is to have a change of clothing. It's so easy to get your clothes covered in fur when you're shooting with your fur babies. So you bring the extra change of clothing. That way after we're done with them, you can change and we can get some fabulous pictures of you without furry clothes. That's <laughs> so true. If you have any comments or questions, then please leave those in the comment section below. And until next time, happy wedding planning to all of our beautiful couples. <laughs>